हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क बेंच आई एम ज्योतिविद पवन कुमार इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट व्हिच यूजेस टू मेजर पार्ट्स फ्रॉम अ डिस्कार्डेड सीएफएल दिस इज अ पीसीबी व्हिच आई हैव टेकन आउट फ्रॉम अ डिस्कार्डेड सीएफएल वन पार्ट इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर which is uh, here and if it is a high voltage uh, um, CFL then the transistor is a power transistor looking like this in a different package you can use any of these and the other part is this I have already removed it is a toroidal ferrite core so when you take out from the discarded CFL, you remove the wires and you will just need this ferrite core which is underneath, toroidal around ferrite core so you don't have to purchase it. The transistor and this core will be used in this circuit. This is the transistor. Now normally you cannot light up an LED with 1.5 volt battery. You need at least 3 volts to light it up. But with this circuit, which I am going to describe, this is the one I have built, you can run the LED using just one single 1.5 volt battery. Here it is. So it lights up. and even with single battery it will light up to full brightness that's the beauty and another interesting feature of the circuit is that even when the battery runs down normally the voltage is 1.5 volt dc and lot of gadgets which run on battery they do not work when the voltage falls below 1 volt but this circuit will still work even when the voltage falls down to 0.8 volt, 0.7 volt. So that's the beauty. So it's a very interesting circuit. And the other interesting point I have this, uh, told you that uh, you don't have to purchase two major components. You can take out from discarded CFL. Now first of all let me describe the circuit diagram for your interest if you're interested. Now here is the circuit diagram I have drawn. This is called a blocking oscillator or you can call it a switching circuit. This is built around a transistor, NPN transistor and uh, this 1K resistor which you have to purchase is giving a bias to the base of this transistor and positive voltage is coming through this winding L1 connected to the 1.5 volt DC. Now this L1 and L2 they form two sides or two coils of this transformer which we will wind on this uh, ferrite core. This is called a flyback giving positive feedback. You see the dots, red dots I put here. They show that the wires are connected in reverse phase, with reverse phase, that I will explain when I will explain you how to make the toroidal uh, transformer. LED is connected here, which you want to light up. This you will have to purchase. And uh, you can put an optional resistance here, low value resistance, for limiting the current through the LED. But in the circuit which I have built, I have, I'm not using this resistor. So the LED lights up to full brightness. This is optional. Okay. And this circuit I have measured with the multimeter. It uh, draws about 28 milliampere DC from the battery. But since the circuit gives an output, not a constant output, but through pulses of very high frequency, 40 or 50 kilohertz, so 
this uh, won't be very this won't load your uh, battery so it lasts long now if you are interested let me explain a little bit the working of the transistor and uh, this uh, circuit diagram when you if you have a switch here or you connect to the battery directly when you switch it on the the positive supply is fed to the transistor base but what happens the current through a coil doesn't increase instantaneously it increases gradually so the transistor starts to turn on the secondary winding gives positive feedback so the transistor gradually turns on till it reaches saturation at that point this turns off that is why it is called blocking it blocks that means the transistor turns off and after that the cycle repeats again so it turns on for a shorter time then turns off so you get pulses at the output with spikes which are greater than 1.5 volt so you get a voltage instantaneously higher voltage and uh, 4 volt or 5 volt and that lights up the LED. Now let me explain when you take out this toroidal core remove the hookup wire which is wound here and you take out the core only this is the ferrite core then you need a copper wire for winding now this is a insulated copper wire which is used to wind transformers you can purchase from market go for a copper wire of 30 SWG or 28 SWG 28 SWG will be a little thicker and you may find because the core is very small you may find it difficult to wind it so go for 30 or 32 SWG and you need a piece about 44 centimeter long then you fold it at the center so I have already folded so each uh, part is about 22 centimeter long then you can wind it leave about 2 centimeter at the end for connecting to the circuit and you can uh, skillfully with patience you need patience you can wind wind it tightly around and the complete winding will be will have about 10 to 11 turns so here it is one which i have already made you can look at it <coughs> now when you wind one end is just folded you haven't cut it and the other end will be two separate wires so keep the end part separate and the beginning part separate then you cut this the folded part and you scrape the wires because there is insulation you won't be able to solder the wires you scrape using a knife carefully you can scrape so when you scrape it properly all around then you will get bright copper wire underneath now take one wire from the end part and uh, with multimeter the multimeter your multimeter should be set to continuity testing you can use a buzzer also or any other meaning just to find out which wire is which so you connect your one lead or multimeter to one wire in the from the end portion and uh, then check the other um, uh, beginning portion each wire now this is showing continuity you can hear the sound from the multimeter so that means this is same wire you you, you don't need this you take the uh, other wire so you twist these the beginning and the end 
of separate wires. I hope you understand it. Now you are connecting uh, the beginning part of one wire and the ending part of the second wire. Uh, only then you will get this reverse phasing. This is important. Then after scraping and connecting you can uh, tin the wire endings which will make it easier to solder it further in the circuit using a soldering iron you can tin the wire be careful while working with the soldering iron and when you tin it you will get a shining uh, tinned end which will help you to make a good solder joint in the circuit now using this coil and the transistor I have already wired up the circuit now see let me tell you you can note down you can note down you need to know which lead is base which is collector which is emitter now this transistor which I have taken from a low voltage CFL this is this package is called TO92 package this transistor is the package of the transistor is called TO92 package so if you place this transistor so that the flat portion is towards you then the first lead is base then collector and then emitter like this base collector emitter this transistor is part number 13002 it is written here this is a high volt transistor but uh, this works well in this circuit so you don't have to purchase if you are using parts from a high voltage CFL then the transistor is a power transistor like this and uh, this transistor has one side is shining it is metallic so you place the transistor in a way so that the metallic side is at the back then the one I am using this has part number D4204D and the lead out is same as for the other transistor. This package is called TO126 just for your interest and uh, the lead outs are base collector emitter. So you can use either of these transistors and uh, <clears throat> this resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor which has uh, if you know how to read the value uh, brown black red and gold brown means 1 red uh, black is 1 0 red means 2 0 so 1 with 3 zeros it is 1 kilo ohm and the last uh, band which is golden means that it is uh, the tolerance of the resistance is plus minus 5 percent so you will have to purchase this resistance it is very cheap uh, from the electronic component shop and LED you have to purchase you can use any color LED and uh, so this circuit which I have already now made you can connect to single battery 1.5 volt and it lights up gives you very bright light from the LED you can use any uh, color LED now if you want to make uh, this circuit on a general purpose PCB then I am using a PCB you can get it from electronic component shops there are different types of uh, general purpose PCBs the one I am using has copper stripes right so you need a piece with the uh, four holes on one side and uh, one two three four five six holes on the other side this is sufficient to build a compact circuit and I have already made 
on this PCB also just to show you so this will look neat you can use it anywhere so this is LED transistor resistor the toroidal coil which we have um, uh, constructed and these are two wires for supply <clears throat> so you can light up an LED with this circuit also it's the same circuit now let me describe if you are interested a little bit more about the circuit diagram this circuit is very interesting circuit because the main thing is you can not even just run an LED with a single 1.5 volt battery but the circuit works even when the voltage of the battery falls below 1 volt now this circuit is also called joule thief circuit now joule is probably you know joule is a unit for measuring energy joule thief circuit which actually means that this circuit is able to steal away even the last joule from a battery last joule now joule also mean a gem last joule from the battery so it is a thief that's very interesting to know I also didn't know initially what is the meaning of this but then I um, uh, uh, found out somehow so it's a jewel thief circuit which means the circuit steals away every jewel from the battery so it's a very efficient circuit now at the output we get pulses now when the transistor is on we this part T1 which shows the voltage has risen from 0 to the supply voltage when the transistor is on and then the transistor turns off you get T2 part of the wave T1 and T2 now if you directly connect without this transformer you directly connect to the supply the LED won't light up and um, the voltage of the pulses cannot uh, you won't get pulses but the voltage uh, at the anode of the LED cannot be greater than the supply voltage Vs here but because of the oscillatory um, nature of the circuit we get uh, spikes when the transistor is very fast at 40 kilo ohm, kilohertz or 50 kilohertz that could be the frequency at which the circuit is operating you get spikes of high high voltage spikes the voltage uh, shoots up even up to VP which is uh, higher than the supply voltage so like this this red part shows the spikes and these are uh, responsible for running the LED even with this 1.5 volt battery so I hope you enjoyed watching this circuit this circuit is very interesting and uh, um, you can uh, um, if you have a discarded uh, CFL which are generally lying in each household then you don't throw it away you can use these components and build this interesting circuit and uh, in some future video I will also try to show other uses of this circuit so this is very interesting circuit okay have a good time build the circuit and have fun with it thank you for watching